where can I work? As an informatics specialist. specialist. Hey you guys, this is Jen from Informatics Life, where I give you real world informatic content as well as about healthcare technology and leadership. Let's go. All right, like I said, this is part four of four of the where can I work as an informatics specialist. I know, you're like, Jennifer, I've watched all of these series and my mind is so blown about all the opportunities that I will have once I graduate or that I'm in the field right now. Absolutely. I hope I've blown your mind. I hope that you are walking away from this series saying, oh, I, there's way more than just informatics jobs that I can work for. Absolutely. So we're going to go into the last three departments I'm going to share for this series. I've given you a lot. So start digging, start researching, finding out what your company has to offer, as well as if you don't see an opportunity, but you know there's a need, maybe you can start the department. Think outside of the box, all right? <laughs> this last part, I would say, I definitely had no idea about these opportunities, but it makes so much sense, which I don't even understand why I didn't ever think of this. But my mind was blown when I found out that you could work for this, these type of areas, and I was also blown by the amount of money they made. <laughs> I'm like, what the heck? Seriously. <laughs> First type of department or company you could work for is a medical device company. Now, you're probably like, Jennifer, I do not want to go into sales. I do not. I, I get you. I don't like sales either, trust me. But there might be somebody out there that actually likes sales. What experience have I had in interacting with people in these type of positions, these work for these type of medical device companies? Monitors. You know, when you go, whether it's you're checking blood pressure little monitor, whether it's the cardiac strip monitor, whether, or the application, I should say, the monitor, just the monitor, but sometimes it's, it's a little monitor that these companies sell, whether it's a knee, an orthotic device, device, oh my gosh, whether it's uh, any type of like implanted device. Okay, so I want to broaden your mind here. Medical device could be anything. It could, like I said, anything that you see in the hospital room, anything that you can see implanted into a patient, <laughs> Those are medical devices. And sometimes they look for informatic specialists. Why? Because we come with the head knowledge of medical, plus we have project management up our sleeve from schooling. We have um, any type of IT background. If you, you know, if you took the courses or you have a real world experience, they look for people that are like that in if you're into sales, I've experienced people who uh, the hospital, you know, has already contracted with these companies and maybe there's like an upgrade that this informatic special, they might not be called informatic special, I'm going to be very clear. They could be called something else, but they have an informatics degree and this is what they do for a living. So they'll come to the company or the organization, whatever, and they'll help you, they'll educate you about the device. They'll come around and do in-service on the device. Like this is the company coming in, doing the in-service on the device. Or, or they'll come in, uh, and, I, and I, I, I wasn't gonna, I didn't think to add this in there, but I'll just throw this in there for you guys. But like applications, upgrades to applications in like, um, I don't wanna call out different because there ain't nobody paying me for this stuff. <laughs> So, so application upgrades, you know, a lot of times hospitals use different applications for certain things. The company will send a representative to do the education for the informatic specialist. So they'll come in for the medical device and they'll educate the informatic specialist and the informatic specialist will go and teach everybody else in the hospital or whatever department. So this person here is actually an informatic specialist as well. They just work for the medical device company. I'm gonna go into the pay in a minute. 
I'm gonna tell y'all. So, <laughs> it's not just sales. It could be sales. You could go and do a presentation to get a company to buy this, or it could be an upgrade that they need you to start educating the people on. So, medical devices. Remember, broaden your scale. Everything you see in that hospital, whether it's the bed, whether it's the call bill, whether it's the monitor in the room, the TV that might have a special feature that the patients can learn education on. So there's like so many things out there that you don't think about that you need to know that there is maybe an application or a medical device attached that could, that company could be looking for informatic specialists to work for them. Let me keep going. EMR, electronic medical record representative. Yes. I know we are so focused on like the big stream hospitals, skilled nursing facilities, rehab facilities, all, you know, we're really focused on that, but I just need you to broaden your mind here. Departments, companies that you can work for as an informatics specialist. Of course, you need to know the application. You need to really know it, but sometimes you might find where they'll teach you the documentation system. <laughs> so read the fine print in the description. But like EMR companies, whew, they will sell their whatever upgrade. They'll sell like, so, you know, in a, in a hospital setting, a health informatics specialist or a nursing informatics specialist could work for, um, maybe they have a new scheduling application that's coming out. They just hired a company to come in. You could work for that company that, that is bringing in the scheduling system or the scanning device system or the electronic medical record system, the whole documentation system that's coming in. So you have specialists, informatic specialists, or they might be called something else, like I said, that will come in and train the whole staff of the hospital or maybe a few people and those people train called train the trainer and then they, those people will go train everyone else however you look at it just know that that electronic medical record company hires people to do that stuff so look up major documentation system companies Cerner, epic sunrise that's really all I know. I, that's all I've dealt with. But I know there's tons of other electronic medical record companies out there. Last but not least, tech companies. Yo, let's talk about like the Fitbit. Let's talk about uh, other braces that come out that people utilize to track their medical, you know, life. Also different uh, applications on the phone that people will come out with that they want, they're trying to pull data to help people with medical stuff. So again, antibiotic specialists can work. If you're bringing them that clinical knowledge, they're going to ask you tons of questions. You're going to be valuable to that company. Valuable, valuable to that company. Valuable, valuable to that company. Because they want to know what is, what are these nurses thinking? What are these uh, RTs thinking? What are these physicians thinking? They want, they try to extract that stuff out of your brain. But also, whether it's a tech company, EMR company, medical device company, they know that you can connect better to the people out there. Oh, I'm an RN. Just imagine like someone coming, your nurse, and then someone says, hey, I'm an RN too. Let me tell you this, your ears are perk up because you're like, oh yeah, they, they know me, they, they, they got me. Or whether it's an RT or a physician or whatever, you'll be like, oh yeah, yeah, you know me because you know I, I, I know that you'll understand me. So your ears will perk up to them. That's exactly what these companies like. So an informatics specialist bringing in that knowledge, bringing that experience, bringing that licensure, they will pay you some good money to work for them because you're going to be a part of that sales team or upgrade team or reinforcement team, whatever type of team. That's what I want you guys to understand. Now, just to put a top on this, I remember meeting someone that worked for a major documentation system company. And she told me, she was like, yeah, I make 150 an hour and I travel, I travel all over the country. And I'm like, excuse, excuse me, 
How much you said you made? <laughs> she was like, $150 an hour. And I'm just like, and they pay for your hotel stay, and they pay for your plane tickets, and they pay for... I mean, mind you, she's traveling. She doesn't have a, you know, personal life anymore because she's like <laughs> traveling all over the place for this EMR company. But I'm just like, if that, if you about that life, look at the nearest documentation company. Make sure you look to see if they're hiring. That's something you want to get into. I can't promise you $150 an hour, but I can promise you, you probably get paid a lot if there's a lot of travel involved, if there is uh, sales involved, if there is uh, educating, upgrade, all that stuff. That's all involved. The option's out there for you. All right. And I also know like a lot of times when they do come to facilities to teach, they'll make sure they have on their badge big RN letters. <laughs> they want you to know that they're RN. They want you to know that they're RT or whatever because they know like you're going to listen to them and they're better off. So I hope all of that was helpful for your knowledge of the informatics field. I hope I blew your mind of all the departments, companies you could work for as an informatics specialist. Make sure you research all of them. Opportunities are out there and they're waiting for you. So you be the best you out there. All right, this has been a wonderful teaching you guys about this. Looking forward to the next series, our next video. So stay tuned, you guys. I'm here to serve you with my brain. <laughs> All right, you guys. This is Jen Lewis, Nurse Informatics Specialist, signing off. Bye.